All right, guys, so it's day two of Hypebeast week over at Wear Testers, and these, these probably the ugliest shoes I've ever seen in my life. Hey, what's good, guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official WearTesters.com YouTube channel. This is the box for the foam runners, okay? It's an inside-out box. Everything that should be on the outside is actually in the inside, including the label. It's the weirdest damn thing. This is just a strange shoe. It's like they wanted, or I guess I've never seen these actually in a store. I've seen the, I don't know what they are. They're not Crocs, but like they're at DSW. They're kind of wavy looking. They look like a cross between Crocs and these. I don't know what they're called. They're like Jack Purcell or I don't know the brand, but like these are ugly, man. Like if you like these, I'm happy for you. I actually met somebody when we were in- uh, Santa Cruz? Yeah, we were in Santa Cruz, small little vacay. Had some fun and I met a guy who watches the channel. He was wearing this exact pair. They're perfect for where we were, like the beach and stuff. The sand can go through these. The water can go through these. They're waterproof. They're flexible, comfortable, but god damn, are they, they are so ugly. Okay, so we just did the 450s, right? And I had brought up Beetlejuice. They remind me of the claw seat. This reminds me of the dude when he pulls his face out right before they go into like the ghost world or whatever, and they gotta like look the part. Like, tell me that don't look like this guy. It does. Eyeballs on his fingers and shit. It's just weird, man. This is so strange. But like the 450s, when I look at these, especially when I'm like holding them, I'm just like, how the did they make these? Like how? It's one piece. It's all one piece. It's the weirdest I've ever seen. This reminds me again of the Nike foam posit. And yes, I'm going to bring that up quite often uh, because at the time in 1997, that shoe was like the future in 1997. You look at it now, it still looks like it's from the future. It doesn't look like it would be made today. And the way that they make that shoe is so weird and so interesting with an upside down mold of the upper itself. And then they pour in liquid polyurethane until it hardens and that's the shoe. And then they attach it to, you know, the midsole and the, the outsole and stuff. But this, it's like, how did they do this? Is that the same thing? Is there an upside down mold of this weird shape with a foot in it or something? foot shape. They pour it all in, they clamp it all up. Does this just pop out in one piece? It's just, I, I need to see how these are made. You know that show, how, how it's made? Mm -hmm. I love that show. Nerd alert! What? Now, as far as the shoe itself, there is traction on these, surprisingly. Kind of looks like the bottom of the 700s a little bit, uh, but without like, you know, the boost and stuff like that. But yeah, it reminds me of that. It is a runner, uh, even though it's not a runner. I don't know why these are called the foam runners. Ooh. Because the word Hirachi is taken. What does the Hirachi got to do with this? It's just, it's like the Hirachi where it's kind of like a, a sneaker sandal. But this is not, it, there's no leather, there's no rubber, it's just foam. Just let me have it. <laughs> no. Anyways, the outsole or whatever this is, you know, there's some traction on there. Will it uh, actually grip to things? I don't know. I'm, you will not catch me wearing something like this. This is too weird for me. Uh, I'm not trying to knock anybody that does wear it. If you do wear it, like the person that we met, super cool guy, really appreciate his support. The shoes were ugly, but like they look good on him. I gotta say, like, I don't, I can't sit here and be like, nope, that guy's weird. You know what I mean? Like, I, it just is one of those things where it's like, man, that guy's got some balls to wear this and wear it so confidently that it didn't look bad. Now, like I was saying earlier, the entire thing is just all one piece. Uh, this particular, I guess, colorway is like weird and marbled. Again, I would like to know how they make this because they don't look uniform, you know, like they all look different. So is it just stuff is put in there and that's just how it is? I'm not really sure. Uh, all I know is that, uh, damn, these are so ugly guys. I'm sorry, man. Plenty of ventilation though. Like I said, waterproof, sandproof, damn near everything proof. They retain their shape well. What do you want me to say about these? They're hideous. I need to know what you guys think about these. That's what I really am curious about. Like, is this your thing? Is this the new slide? Like if you're going to the basketball court, you're gonna wear these? It's the new Croc. I don't know how Crocs became a thing. Except it's like three times the price. Is it really? I don't know. I assume those are like close to 300. Aren't most Yeezys? Let me double check. Holy crap. The original colorway, that bone colorway, was 628 bucks. Inconceivable. Are Yeezy foam runners good for running? Somebody actually did a performance review. 
Anyways, I can't find the retail price because like the prices are all over the place and all they show is GOAT and StockX. Man, I don't know what these re retailed for, but uh, it was too much. And then whatever they're reselling for is way too much. I'm not saying to go get Crocs because I think those are whack too, but like, jeez, jeez. Now, as far as sizing is concerned, they do fit true to size. So whatever you typically wear, that's what I would go with. I don't know if these come in half sizes or not. So if you're a wide footer or you got a beefy foot or whatever, you got that, them Hulk feet, I don't know. Uh, you might want to go up to the next full size unless there are half sizes i couldn't find any we got these from kicks crew and on there i didn't see any half sizes so again i don't know if there are all i know is that they fit true to size they are super comfortable i will say that i was able to test out the traction because i always forget that we have the stage and it's hardwood like what you would find in a basketball court and i can test the traction right there and these grip like the curries so wow yeah they got good grip so uh yeah even though they're all foam you should be good unless you go from something that's slippery like wet mm -hmm. and then it'll probably be slippery but i do want to know what you guys think about these down below in the comments like is this your like so like you are all about comfort i am all about comfort okay so but it, i still want to look cute and you just don't think you can because your pinky toe would be good in these. I don't care. <laughs> I have house slippers. I have slides. I have so many other runners that I could like walk around in all day. I don't need these in my life. I don't know if anybody really does. <laughs> like, so let us know what you think about these down below in the comment section. You can send a pair her way. Uh, she will really appreciate it. <laughs> No, thank you. <laughs> this might be one of them things where we end up featuring these in another video. Remember when, uh, so, so far I've gotten her Reebok questions that she loves. And then we've gotten her the uh, Reebok Shack Gnosis, which she loves even more. We did get her a pair of Yeezys that she really loves. And I think she needs some new slides. No, it's cool. I think she does. Actually, speaking of slides, I don't know, that might be the next one. We'll see. Hint, with, hint, wink, wink. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for the support. Big shout out to Kix Crew for uh, having these, I guess. <laughs> there's there's a bunch of other colors. I think they look better in the tonal colors, the solid ones. Uh, these marbly ones are a little strange, especially with this one. This one I look like I step in sh ready. But thank you so much for everything. And until next time, guys, have a good one. Oh, wait, one more thing. These are probably available right now. And by these, I mean the thing I'm pointing at, which is the Today, hoodie. Today, yeah. November 11th. Which is the hoodie. So I think uh, some people there was confusion, you know, that like I had mentioned the hoodie, but like people thought I was still talking about the shoes. So yeah, this hoodie and matching shorts are available right now for pre-order. There's gonna be a four day window from Thursday to Sunday. Get your orders in and we'll close shop on Monday and then uh, we'll start getting everything ready and get them out to you within like four to six weeks. So with that being said, thank you. And until next time, peace.